Here we are at Mallory Park. We're currently queuing to undertake some noise testing. I've never done this before. It really does look like you have to queue up, do a static noise test. I think that involves running the engine to about four and a half thousand RPM. And then provided we're not too noisy, we then get a sticker on the screen and then we're free to go on the circuit. Goodness knows what happens if we're too noisy. I'm seriously hoping that we won't be, but it is a sports exhaust, so you never know. What sort of RPM are you looking for? Uh, it says three quarters of the range. Three quarters, about 4,000 RPM. There you go. Exciting lap, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Just increasing the pace a little bit more. as a friendly circuit and for many retains some of its early charm. Indeed, Mallory Park is the only surviving major oval course with key features such as Shaw's hairpin that is possibly one of the tightest corners to be found on any UK track. Gerard's Bend, a sweeping right-hander, purports to be one of the longest bends in the UK. Dating from the 1950s, the circuit has seen many famous racing drivers such as John Surtees, Jack Brabham and Graham Hill, just to mention a few. Today sees a variety of Jaguars on track including some very special cars from the Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust. More on these later. Who would have thought that some 60 years on, Jaguar E-types could still be found chasing around the circuit?
XJR15 was produced between 1990 and 1992 by Jaguar Sport, a joint venture between Jaguar and Tom Walkinshaw Racing. XJR15 was a road-going version of the XJR9 that was campaigned in various FIA Group C races. The XJR15 benefits from a 6-litre version of the Jaguar V12 engine producing around 450 horsepower. The lightweight carbon fibre and Kevlar construction ensured a 0-60 time of around 4 seconds and a limited top speed of 190 miles an hour. The Jaguar XK180 is a concept car first revealed to the public at the Paris Motor Show in 1998. Benefiting from a 4 litre supercharged V8, the car could accelerate from 0 to 60 in just under 4.5 seconds with a purported top speed of 180 miles an hour. Recently, the car has undergone significant work to troubleshoot and rectify a long standing issue affecting a transmission that made the car almost undrivable for many years. Perseverance and an awful lot of patience has paid off with the issue finally being resolved and the car being present today for its first track debut for many years. <laughs> 